one sentence or two sentences, something like uh, what you discussed in too short. Yeah. Did, did we should also know not how to do it all, or that's not yeah, that no uh, uh, if, if a patient uh, gets a refund after uh, a good result? <laughs> I think it's ethical if you don't have the patient first. No? <laughs> in the most countries, uh, acupuncture is already in the procedure. Uh, some of the countries get uh, also the education through the national curriculum and the uh, university like for instance in France they but you don't even have to be a GP um, in contrary in um, Italy uh, you have to be a GP so you could do a doctor to uh, to do the ac acupuncture some insurances uh, do pay it like in Croatia uh, but the education is uh, you have to pay it for yourself and you can't do it in Croatia. In it's Spain, it's all uh, it's not covered by insurance, and it can be done, but it's on private basis. First of all, we should uh, ask our national medical association and the curriculum side to put it in the educational uh, chart, like France has it, so every doctor can learn about it and get the degree through the school, medical school. We try to read it without um, alternative. Like if a patient profits from a medicinal treatment, an insurance company should refund a part of the money to the patient or to the doctor. And when we read it this way, uh, we found it very unethical for um, you shouldn't refund after the result is positive or the outcome is positive of a medicinal treatment, whether it is an alternative or not. We don't really know what alternative is not is, so we try to put the question to medicinal treatment. We add the, the, the sentence, it should be legalized for doctors to practice CAM. Well, uh, we were in the group of osteopathy and care practice and reflect and uh, about this we, we agreed that in our countries is already uh, something is uh, the doctors uh, do this practice, uh, like in France is uh, in private, in Portugal <coughs> we have in, some doctors are trying to implement that in their practice and there are other experiences like that. So it would be great if we would establish more dialogue between these two worlds and try to really work together, not as complementary medicine. So, because patients ask about that and they really feel better after doing these treatments. And regarding the little sentence that we had, we had various methods of complementary alternative medicine should be learned at medical faculties and during their residency in family medicine. So, we saw that integrating them in compulsory medical education would help doctors to gain more knowledge about it, increase the acceptance, and so, as always, provide better care to our patients. First of all, we discuss about in what we know about homeopathy in different countries, and we found out that we don't know so much about homeopathy in public system in our countries. Normally, um, doctor, medical doctors practice homeopathy privately in most of the countries. Everybody thinks that it is ethical if you don't harm the patient and if the patient agrees. You have to propose the patient to be treated with homeopathy or any other complementary system and if the patient agrees uh, you can try. Why not? If you don't harm you can try. There's always a part of patients that gets get hurt by the medicine you give. So if you would provide alternative medicine without doing harm to a patient, you you should better 
you should you couldn't provide any form of alternative medicine because you're always hurting at least a small part.